Hey everybody, welcome back to another IT video. In this one, we're gonna be taking a look at a simple way to make sure all your important files are backed up using a program called EasyUS Toto Backup. It's a free program, let's get started. So the first thing I want to go over is your hard drive situation. So in order for this to make any sense, you're going to need an extra hard drive of some sort. So I actually run a Western Digital My Passport. Uh, this is just a USB hard drive, and that's a great option if you're not working with a ton of uh, files. So I mean, you can get these up to like four terabyte that are decently inexpensive. If you go any higher than that, you're probably going to want to set up like a NAS or something like that. If you're talking like 20 terabytes, things like that. So we'll save that for another video. But in this case, you're going to want an extra hard drive, whether that's inside your PC or a external drive, which I would actually recommend an external drive because in the case that you lose your PC, let's say, let's say it gets struck by lightning or something and both hard drives are in your PC, you may lose both hard drives, so your backup was pretty much pointless. If you have it on an external drive, at least you can set this away somewhere every once in a while, you know, when it fills up, put it away somewhere, and then, you know, add another one, keep, continue your backup process, and that way you have it in two locations. Now, you still technically want an off-site location, and that's where I would maybe recommend a uh, cloud storage for your most important files, photos, things like that, you know, home video. I think Google Drive does 15 gigabytes free and you can compress your files down a little bit just so you have that offsite backup in the case that your house burns down or something, some tragedy like that where you lose your computer and your external hard drives wherever they were stored. Another option is get a fire safe. Um, you know, get, read reviews on them because a lot of them aren't very fireproof. But if you get a fireproof safe, put your external hard drives in there once your things are backed up. And that's another way you can kind of protect yourself from a tragedy where you won't lose all of your data. And that's what we're trying to mitigate. We're just trying to mitigate losing data here. So if you have another hard drive, as you can see here, I have my boot drive local disk. I have my media drive, which is where all my video gets recorded to. My camera files get dumped to there. Everything media related gets dumped to that. And then here's my passport, which I just wiped to another. I just cleared it to another drive. So that way I can start fresh for the video. And this is a one terabyte, my passport drive. And that's what we're going to be backing up to. And I'm going to leave this plugged in until this drive fills up. So again, this isn't ideal because they're both connected to the same computer for that period of time, but this will work for anything that you're not, you know, to anything where it's not of, you know, deathly importance that you, if you lose it, it's going to be the death of you. So this is going to be my backup drive. So make sure that you have that set up before we even begin anything else. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to come over to the link in the description for Ease Us, Ease US, I don't really know which it is, uh, Toto Backup, do the free download. You have to type your email address, so don't give them your, uh, give them permission to give you all that spam email. Click the download on the left for the free version, and once that's downloaded, go ahead and open it up. Accept the privileges and choose English. Okay. We're going to use the free edition. Accept. I'll just use the default path. You can install that wherever you'd like. I already had this and uninstalled it. That's why this is popping up. And I'm going to opt out of the customer experience improvement program. All right, so now we're gonna set our backup location. Now, this is why I said to make sure that you have a hard drive set up for your backups uh, beforehand. So you can click browse here, and these are all of your drives. I'm going to be using the My Passport drive, and you can make a folder in here. It's already made this folder. I'm gonna delete that. 
I'll delete that later. It won't let me from here. But I already have this folder made, file backups. Click OK. And click Next. And it'll install EaseUs Toto Backup. All right, now that that's finished up, uh, we're gonna go ahead and launch the program, click finish. It'll open its stupid website. We'll just minimize that and open up the program. All right, so now I'll try and have you buy a license again, and we'll just click later. You don't, you, the free version will do everything that we need for this. All right, now you're gonna be greeted with this screen, and here's where we have our different options for uh, backing up so you can see we can back up a whole disk partition we can do a system backup we can do a file backup or an email or smart backup which i believe those are pro uh, version but what i'm going to do is i'm going to be using the file backup because i want to individually select the folders that i want backed up at all times because other things i don't care if they're backed up such as my applications folder i can reinstall applications I can reconfigure those. I don't really care about that stuff. Stuff I am concerned with is like video files, photo files, you know, tax documents, work files, that kind of thing. So I want to go through and select each folder that I want to back up and nothing else. So here we have a system backup. Now you do this if you just want to back up your system partition. Um, so wherever Windows is installed, it will back up that drive. So as you can see here, this is my 400 gig uh, partition on my 500 gigabyte Samsung NVMe drive. Now, I don't wanna back up all of Windows 10 because then you're just backing up applications, things like that. I don't care about that. That might be what you want. So if you do want that, you can just choose this and proceed with that. I'm gonna back out of that. You can also do individual disks. So pretty much same thing except you can choose the disk or partition or multiple that you want to back up. So for example, I could back up hard disk one, which is my Windows drive. And then let's say I just want the media partition on my media drive. Boom. So we're just backing up that. I don't want to do that either because there's a lot of things that I, like I said, I don't want to back up and I only have a one terabyte drive. So I just want the important stuff. So I'm going to do a file backup and now what this allows you to do is go through and select each folder or set of folders that you would like to be backed up and all the contents within those folders and any folders created within them will be backed up so as you can see i have my documents uh i also have i'll do my media drive we'll do the dump folder my it videos folder photography We'll just do all of that stuff and camera roll, pictures, and videos. So everything that we have checked is going to be backed up. And the destination is going to default to what we set up earlier. But if you don't want that, you can browse and make sure that that's set up where you want it. I'm already good to go on my passport with my file backup folder. Um, you can do the the name. So I'm going to name this file backup one and the description. So important media and system files. Simple. And now we can set up a schedule. Now this is where it makes things really easy because you can do this daily, weekly, monthly, however you want to do it. Or you can do a one-time backup. Let's say you have a terabyte worth of data. You have a terabyte backup drive. You can just back it up once and store that uh, backup drive away. But I'm actually going to do a daily backup. So any work that I do that's saved within those folders will get automatically backed up to here. So if something happens, bada bing, bada boom, I have it backed up. I also do this because I run on a VM and sometimes problems come up within a VM and I have to revert it back or reset it. So it just helps to have a daily backup of all my important files here. So if that happens, I can just copy them back over. So I'm going to do a daily one and I like doing it at midnight. Um, 
you can change that whenever you want, like early morning, right when you turn your computer on. Um, it won't turn your computer on, but it, you do have the option to wake up the computer if you just put in your login name and your password. Then let's say your computer's sleeping at midnight, it'll automatically wake it up. And if you have your system power settings set up right, you can have it then fall back asleep after 10 minutes or whatever after the update's complete. So I'm not going to have it wake up because this is a VM, like I said. I normally just have it running. And I'm actually going to have it start at 11 p.m. And here's where you apply the backup method. Um, now, I would recommend doing an incremental, especially if you're doing a file backup, because you'll have the full backup on the first backup, and then every backup from there on, it'll only check for new files and back those up. So I'm going to do incremental, and the first backup I'm going to apply as a full backup. So like I said, you can also have it just do a full backup every day, but you're just going to have copy upon copy of the same data. So let's say you have 120 gigabytes of files that you're backing up. That'll back up today. Then tomorrow, if you have like 121 gigabytes of files, instead of just adding that one gigabyte and having a one gigabyte backup added to that, it'll back up 121 gigabytes. So now your backup drive has 241 gigabytes used. So incremental is much more uh, savvy for space. And it doesn't really matter as long as you have this program installed you can open up the compressed files and within any incremental backup, you'll have the full backup. So if you click on the most recent backup, it'll have all the incremental files and the full backup from there. So it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to click save here and click save again. And it wants me to rate. Uh, never ask me that again. And we are now scheduled for our first backup at 11 o'clock tonight. Now, if you want to do the first backup right away, what you can do is just do a one-time backup or do a daily. Change the time to right now, 11.48 a.m. Save. And now in two minutes, this backup will begin. And then after the backup's done, I'll just change the time back to 11 p.m. All right, now that it's 11.48 a.m., you can see the backup is starting. It's estimating the time and, you know, looking through the files on what needs backed up. And this first one's going to be a full backup, so it's going to go through every file that I checkmarked, put the backup onto this external hard drive, and when that's done, I'll show you how you can go into that and look for your files in case you ever did lose something. And just for reference, um, this can take a while depending on the speed of your external hard drive. This is a 5400 RPM drive, so the size of the files will also matter. These are mostly video files, so it'll probably be pretty efficient. This is only a USB 3 5400 RPM drive, so I think it can only do like 120 megabytes per second. So it's not going to be the fastest thing in the world unless you have a faster drive, obviously. All right, so it's been a couple hours, but this is finally done, and I just clicked here and changed this back to 11 p.m. and clicked Save. And so now that's set up for 11 p.m. daily incremental backups. Now, one other thing that I want to go over is it might be a good idea to do a full backup maybe once a month just because incremental backups can be a little bit less stable. However, this program cre creates a snapshot so this is a full backup, but even if this is an incremental backup, you can go through your file systems as if you were on your uh, main hard drive and everything you have backed up will be here. And it's as simple as just copying and pasting it to back to your hard drive if you lose something and need to recover it. Or you can simply take the whole thing and copy it back to your hard drive if you want to go that route. You also have the option of just clicking recover down here and you can recover it to the original location or to another location if you just want to have it do it automatically. So yeah, it might be a good idea to set up a monthly full backup as well. And you can even do this to another drive if you want to be extra careful. And it's as simple as just doing it how we did it previously, set the time, set it up for monthly, 
and make this a full backup instead of an incremental backup and save and that'll execute that also one more thing if you do have a nas or uh you know network storage of some sort or you have a cloud backup service this program can actually use those so if you click browse here you can add your nas device you can add a other pc if you have a a pc that you use as a nas on your network and you can also from the file backup do a cloud service so that's also an option so this program will take care of all that for you you can set your schedules up however you'd like have it wake up your computer take care of your backups and you're good to go and in the case you ever need it just go to wherever that's pointed and you're able to open it up and recover whatever you need so hope this helped you guys out if you have any questions leave a comment down below and i'll try and answer those as quickly as i can if it helps you out, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. Got a bunch of videos in the making, so I'm going to be cranking them out as quickly as I can so that way I can get on a consistent upload schedule. I know I say that like every video, but it's coming, I promise. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.